Hello, welcome to the Sensors Unlimited booth at Photonics West. We're showing our in-gas cameras, 2D, 1D, and linear array products. We have our 1280 camera looking at the uh, aisle and being displayed behind me. We continue to lead the market with the smallest, most sensitive SWIR cameras available. But the question is, why should you care? What can you do with SWIR imaging? So well, there's a number of bullets that have deliver solutions to customers, both in the military security and in the industrial space. SWIR light travels farther, allows us to see through fog, haze, um, smoke, and also in tissue. And we have active applications in all of these. SWIR cameras primarily image reflected light. Reflected light is more like the natural light that we are responding to with our eyes. This means that the SWIR images are relatively easy for people to understand what they're looking at to get the resolution they need to use the images properly. SWIR wavelengths past 1.4 microns are also considered eye safe. So this is leading to a lot of laser rangefinder applications, including LIDAR, with other reasons for using uh, this wavelength range and using imaging cameras. We can also design our cameras to respond to those pulse uh, wavelengths instead of just uh, flat images. Another reason for interest in our wavelength range is that the chemical signatures can be remotely detected. There's a lot of chemistry in the midwave, but because of background temperature of objects, it obscures the chemical signature. Whereas our cameras are looking at the reflected absorbance of the chemistry, and that gives us uh, the remote capability to sense the chemistry while also not requiring any sample preparation. These are big advantages in the uh, pharmaceutical and uh, plastic recycling businesses. Next, SWIR wavelengths penetrate through silicon. This is why silicon cameras, such as the one taking this video, can't see our wavelength range because SWIR light becomes transparent. This also allows my camera to be used to inspect silicon integrated circuits because we can see through the layers. We have active business looking at um, solar cells for microcracks and for um, electro illumination. SWIR sees the telecommunications wavelengths. They're in all the fiber optics and fiber optic components, lasers, transmitters, and uh, switches, and so we have an active business in wavelength channel monitoring and uh, alignment um, and troubleshooting fiber optic systems. And then finally, SWIR can see through regular glass. Why is this an advantage? Thermal cameras can't see through glass. So if you have a hot furnace behind a safety glass, you can't use a long wave or mid wave camera to measure the temperature. We're used in those cases to look at hot chemical furnaces or even inside the bottle, your beer bottle or champagne bottle, as it's coming off the manufacturing line, we can see the defects inside the bottle that the long wave cameras can't see. So these summarize many of the applications that our cameras are involved with. If you have any further questions, please come to our website where we illustrate all of these applications, www.sensorsinc.com. Hope to see you at some time at the show, or you can contact us at any time through the website for help with our cameras or applications. Have a great day.